Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another monthly favourites video which I absolutely love to do. So if you want to see what I've been loving for the past month or so, then keep watching. So I feel like I've got quite a few things to share with you this month and they're not all beauty related which is where like a lot of my focus tends to be because I just I love makeup I always have done but I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna start with like fashion I guess you could say like items that you wear and the first thing that I'm gonna mention are these and these are my salt water sandals and I have had these I want to say three years possibly longer and I'm not being funny but they don't look three years old do they and they are so so comfortable I've got Birkenstocks as well which I love but most of the time I reach for these because I feel like tan sandals kind of go with everything they're really easy to put on and off they're super comfortable as I've mentioned and I really think they're a good investment I know that some people are like oh they're a bit like old-fashioned or mumsy but I think they look really cute and I really like them so if you are in the lookout for some like sandals and you want to make like a good investment and not have to buy them again next summer then these are a good shout. The next thing I want to show you is a dress or a type of dress. I have two in the exact same design and they're from ASOS and unfortunately one of them needs ironing and the other one is in the wash but I do have photos and the first one that I bought was like this kind of a peachy shade with almost like spots or leopard printy kind of spots dalmatian print on it and i just thought it was really unusual and really really cute and i bought it and i just fell in love with it because they are like a pinafore design and they have straps here which you can adjust with a lovely little button so you can make it like shorter or longer depending on like your stature and your shape they've got massive pockets but they're kind of like a smock dress in the fact that they are a little bit more fitted up top but they just flow past your tummy and they're easy breezy to wear you don't feel hot in them so when the sun's been out it's just been so easy to grab one and put them on and I absolutely love them and I love that one so much that I went on and bought a second which is like a chambray kind of style so it's like a denim blue colour but really lightweight again really easy to wear the exact same design and I love them I don't know if it is corny that I wear this but I'm glad that I wear it and I feel like I can't wear anything else this is Daisy by Marc Jacobs and I've had this ever since I was pregnant with Daisy and we knew what her name was going to be and I bought it on a whim I think it was at Christmas time before I had it because she was due in April and I just thought I'm going to try it and see what it's like it was on offer in the sales and stuff and I think it's beautiful and I ran out recently and I was trying to like use other perfumes but they were just kind of you know when you're really used to a scent and it makes you feel like you and then other scents can sometimes be a bit cloying or give you a headache and I just wasn't getting on with them and I decided to pick it up again I found it cheapest I think it was John Lewis actually because I could get it like delivered to Waitrose and didn't have to pay for delivery and that kind of thing and um, I'm just so glad that I've got it back and I feel like you know absence makes the heart grow fonder that was definitely the case with me for this because I just love it in fact I'm gonna spritz it now because oh it's such a nice smell it's such a it's pretty it's not like super floral it's not super vanilla -y. it's not too young it makes me think of summer but I wear it all year round anyway and it's just so me and Daisy loves that that I wear it she calls it my Daisy flower perfume so yeah Marc Jacobs Daisy gotta love it next up is a bit of a random favorite now if you've followed me for any length of time you might know that I've got hay fever I I get on all right with it. I don't like get really, really, really sore, swollen, puffy eyes, but I do get irritable eyes. It really trashes my makeup, which is quite annoying. And I get very congested and I tickly throw and just generally feeling quite gross with it. It does make me quite lethargic. I don't really know how to explain it, but I've always just used, you know, like hay fever tablets and buy them from Aldi, buy them from, from wherever you like. And I take one a day and it's like, mm, it's all right. But my best friend Suzanne recommended this and this is Beaconase I think it is or Beaconase. It's really really good to the point where I was actually having a conversation with my gramps about it at the weekend. He was agreeing with me that like they do a way better job than tablets ever do. And you basically put a spray up each nostril like first thing in the morning and then again in the evening before you go to bed. And it's been making a really really big difference to how like affected I am. And also I don't know if they're still on offer at the moment because like I'm 
fully stocked up but I think they're just under the six pound mark as it is and at the moment in Waitrose you can get two for six pounds so it's basically almost like buy one get one free and if you do struggle I would really give this a go because it's done wonders for me. I am going to take this moment to slide in a few kiddie items that I have been loving as their parent and they have been loving actually for the past month and the first one is for Daisy and it's this range of hair products and it's Curly Ellie and I've seen this floating around social media in various different guises and forms and like reviews and like other people that I know using it Daisy has I wouldn't say she has super 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 curly hair but she definitely has a definite curl there and her hair goes from being quite all right when she goes to bed and she wakes up with like the frizziest craziest hair and it's not even that it's hard to tame it just never really looks that happy it always looks a bit of a frizz ball do you know what I mean and I felt bad because my hair typically as you can probably tell like this is just my hair dried with a hair dryer I don't have curly hair I've always had very very straight hair and it's like handy and everything but I don't really know how to deal with curly hair like naturally so I was having a look and I thought I'm gonna go for it and I only got like the little like try set because I have to say personally this is more expensive than what I would spend on my hair care but then she does have the sort of hair that is like it needs a bit extra so I don't know it's like I feel like it's really really good but then I do want to put a disclaimer out there that it's not cheap and it really isn't cheap now with the little like miniature set I was able to try every product so there are some products that I think like yeah really really like them of which I've got here and then others that I just kind of feel like I'm not going to use so that will be because Daisy's hair is probably not as curly as others it's not like a, I'm not throwing any shade on the brand or anything I just think that different kids have different needs don't they but the ones that I'm going to share are the shampoo and the conditioner and these are uniquely crafted for curly wavy frizzy and damaged hair they've got no parabens or silicones in and there's no synthetic fragrances or mineral oils and they do seem to do a really good job on her so I am going to repurchase because I have noticed a significant difference in her hair but the main product for me is this and it's actually a really really decent sized bottle in comparison to the other two but it's the lasting hold styling serum and this stuff is brilliant you you basically in the morning because i don't wash daisy's hair every day either because it would just damage it too much i like i wash her hair with shampoo and conditioner it will dry i let it air dry most of the time we don't hair dry it or anything like that and then when she wakes up in the morning it will still be a little bit crazy and all over the place but I will give it a spray with detangler I'll brush it through and then I get some of this onto my hand and I kind of like cover it onto my hand and then I scrunch her hair like this very interesting action there and I scrunch it I feel like this is actually inappropriate to be doing on camera so I'm going to stop but I do this to her hair and the curls just bounce into place they like spring up and then her hair is just so so much nicer and she's really happy she's like oh yeah I've got my curly hair and it's easier to style it just looks better and healthier and I'm really glad that I picked them up and then the other kitty favorites are these and I bought these on a whim actually I was coerced by a three-year-old little girl they were on offer at Boots I think they were six pounds and they were something like half price which I don't know if I could ever be convinced to spend 12 pounds on a toothbrush yet I'm not yet there because I'm still club manual toothbrush I just I buy a toothbrush I brush my teeth with it and that's kind of it I've never had one of these for myself I would quite like one though but I just don't want to spend all that money on it I don't know if that's bad you'll probably all tell me off now but I saw them for the kids, they have a built-in timer, they're all will be by Braun and the timer is great because it tells them how long they're supposed to brush the teeth for and then you can also remove the heads and then replace them with a new one. Oh, it just spat out toothpaste juice, that's gross. Anyway, <laughs> you can also, because they're battery charged so you don't need like a special socket in your bathroom or anything like that and I feel like I'm quite glad that I got them now. The kids seem to really enjoy the novelty of it at least and I like the fact that these heads are replaceable because then I don't feel like I'm just buying some sort of gimmick and it's going to be like plastic in a landfill. But um, yeah, they are, they are quite good. So the next favourite that I want to mention is like a random one that I don't think is going to be of interest to everybody so I won't dwell on it for too long but if you follow me over on instagram i'm at shell taylor over there if you're not already over there like just come say hi but you will probably know that i have started going back to the gym again and the last time i went to the gym was before i had kids so nearly eight years ago actually which is crazy 
obviously I've been doing things like Zumba and over the years I have like lost a fair bit of weight. I used to weigh, well, nearly 17 stone at one point and now I'm still working on that. I'm still working on getting back to my pre-pregnancy weight after Stan. I don't know whether or not I'll ever get there to be honest because I feel okay in my body but one thing I did notice was that I missed feeling healthy. I missed that feeling of like having a strong body and I wanted to get some confidence back in myself. And also so many people talk about how mental health is greatly affected by exercise in a positive way. And I wanted a bit of that for me, to be honest. I, th I thought it would be really good for me to start doing things for myself. So I started going to the gym a couple of weeks ago now, and I'm trying to go two to three times a week plus Sumba. And I'm really, really, really working very hard to make time for myself, which isn't easy because during the day, it is me and the kids. And I do struggle with like the guilt aspect of going, when the kids are at nursery when i'm meant to be working but i'm trying to find a way of like balancing that out but the difference to the way my body feels the way i feel like mentally the way i am in terms of fitness is just already there are already changes being made and i've actually lost a few pounds from just not well just exercising to be honest and that wasn't the main goal but i'm glad that it is a byproduct because i do have some weight to lose to be a lot healthier in my opinion but it's just it's doing wonders for me and I just wanted to share it and if anyone would like to like see more of like a a self-care video from me you want more chat about how I go to the gym it's literally just me and the gym I'm not like I don't have anyone to helping me or anything like that but if you would like to see that let me know down in the comments below and I will try and do something another thing that I really enjoyed is a playlist that I found literally when I was there I was like oh I don't have any music to listen to I don't really know what to go for so I googled like what I searched in Spotify gym and then the first thing that came up was gym uk and it's a playlist that spotify has made themselves and it's so so good you have to like cheesy music i think and pop music which i do it's a given um but i've been loving it and i just stick that in get my headphones going take a big like sports bottle of water or juice with me and i just hammer it i go for it and it's been really enjoyable so if you're like a gym goer or you're wanting to get into it that is definitely a playlist that i can recommend and then another music item i've been enjoying which i feel like i need to put a disclaimer to because if you're watching this and you are a lot younger than me definitely don't listen to it yet because your parents will kill me and if you are a parent don't listen to it with children around and that is the book of mormon soundtrack we went to go and see book of mormon in june it was brilliant we've had these tickets for ages you know when you like book something you're like okay like 10 months later um but it was so so good it was hilarious you do have to have a open sense of humor because some people might find it offensive and i'm trying to be sensitive to that when i talk about this but i just find it very very funny i really enjoy the music i actually think the music is very well written and it's also like co-composed or co-written with the one of the men who did avenue q which is another musical of a very similar vein and i just think it's fantastic so if you are into musical theater and your kids are asleep and you don't mind naughty humour then definitely give it a listen but just close your windows or put your headphones in that's all I can say um and then finally the last few things one homeware item and two things that you can scoff or drink so I'm gonna go and get them one second so the homeware item I'm talking about is this and if you follow my friend Emily Jane Lathan on Instagram you might have already seen these Emily and her sister Jess are both friends of mine. They both own a company called Rock and Rose and Emily and Jess's feeds are both stunning actually but she had these in a post recently and they're from Habitat and they're actually in the sale at the moment so instead of £8 which I don't know if I would pay for a bowl they were only four so I actually bought four I'm kind of regretting it now and I should have bought maybe six or eight I might have a look and see if there are any left after I film this video actually because I've got a family of five so I feel it's like a bit of an oversight just to buy four of them to be honest but that's charlotte for you but i just think they are absolutely stunning they're called the andalucia bowl i think serving bowl they say the serving bowls but these for me are like perfect for salads or like say a curry dish or a stir fry or just an unusual bowl to serve food in and 
We're not getting our extension done until February next year and the kitchen will come right at the end of that. But I am thinking ahead to like our new kitchen and the vibe I've got for our house and when it's finished and what kind of styles I want. And I feel like these are going to look really nice on some exposed shelves. But you'll have to let me know in the comments down below actually if you want like a kitchen mood board type video and like show you what I'm aiming for. But yeah, this is, these are just gorgeous. They're so, so nice and I'm so glad that I picked them up. And I just think they're absolutely stunning. I'm very rustic and I'm just really chuffed with them. And then finally the food bits as I've mentioned. So the first thing is this. This is the Aldi Choco salted pretzel. So it's basically salted pretzel, milk chocolate. The details here about how good they are for you is, well it's all red and a bit of orange. It's not great but it's so so good. They have like little pretzel balls almost hidden within the chocolate and the chocolate's quite thick and I just bake off like a, a line of it every night pretty much because it's nice with Love Island which by the way I'm loving Love Island but I don't need to go on about that too much so I'm sure you're the same but it's lovely I keep it in the fridge I think it's absolutely beautiful and I've talked recently anyway about how I love stuff with like pretzels in and it's just really good so if you've not had it yet go and get yourself some and then another thing that I'm enjoying at the weekend which is now call it beverage just so you know is this now my favorite cocktail at the moment is a negroni and i quite like strong cocktails i like them on the rocks a lot of the time or i like them to be fairly like bitter i'm not really like a sweet kind of girly cocktail person anymore at all and we get negronis quite a lot when we go out and it's just something that mark and i both love but i spotted this in the what was it waitrose the other day and it's the campari negroni mix and you literally just serve it over rice so it's all done for you and it's not one of those rubbish weakened down versions because it's 26% in volume in terms of alcohol and it's a mixture of campari bitter vermouth rosso and dry gin and it's like equal parts so one third of each it's so so nice but you do need to like your bitter kind of alcohol um for example i really like aperol spritzes as well they're another like summer staple for me which i've been loving and feel like this is quite a similar kind of thing but just a lot more of a kick to it but i'm really pleased i found it because it doesn't it means then that i don't need to buy three bottles of alcohol and i can kind of just grab this and i took it to a meal at my grandparents on sunday and made one for me and Mark and then also one for my dad and my gramps because they wanted to try it and they loved it as well so really pleased with that and yeah that is my favourites for the month of June and I'm sure I'll keep enjoying these for the rest of the year as well because they're all great but yeah thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comments down below if you would like to see any of the videos that I mentioned and if you've got any favourites that you think I would enjoy at the moment but other than that have a lovely rest of your day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye Thank you.